Yeah, sorry about the wind. That's me. I got a taxi to the village location just to check how it's going. And because uh, I haven't been in a long time. So yeah, worth the trip. Heading out now, just walking out. I'm only here for one night. Just because I've got to be back for tomorrow. I'll take it easy on this ankle too. Which is not really the terrain I should be walking. But what the hell. <laughs> We're here now. The pine shelter I built. That's still got all the pine on it anyway, but the pine's died off a bit. There's a lot of pine needles on the floor too, but it's looking still dry in there. All the, all the slats are dry, which is good, but it's covered in the tarp. The TP, all the moss has sank down and left the top exposed, but that's, we know that happens with moss shelters. Apart from that, that's still dry inside there. The lean to, it's looking all right actually. It's all dry inside. The uh, square cabin sort of thing is good too. And uh, so is my shelter. Still there, uh, nice and dry. Grand. And the little kitchen area there with my food bag on it. And my rucksack's there. Roll mat and my bench. This bench is dried to the point now where the bark's just. Look at that. Coming right off there. It's gonna be awesome. Always have to roll my mat backwards just so that when I put it on my bed it doesn't like fold up and roll up and everything. It's been a while since I've had a bed this comfy. Oh yeah. Right, so that's my 
stuff all sorted. It's my sleeping bag. And again, right, a few of the fire and the TP in front from our bed. I brought some paracord, but I don't think I'm going to do any building. I think I'm just going to chill and enjoy my shelters. We'll see, because I always change my mind. You see the floor where I work? It's like pretty much around here and it's just wood chippings and all that all over the place. But that's not a bad thing, it gets trod into the ground. But yeah, like I'm just looking around at look how much that's grown. That's like a wall of bush right in front of us. There's all sorts. There's oak over there, there's rowan, there's raspberries and blueberries and and uh, baby birch everywhere. There's rowan over there. Oak, I see oak. I'm sure I see some sycamore over there too, but I'll confirm that later. Well, yeah, this like this one here. Look how thick the bottom. Like, some of these are gonna be. There's like 15 out of one, one root here. So like, they're gonna have to be thinned down before long. But by someone that's not me. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like this one's taller than me. When the last time I was here, it was all waist height. And now everything's above my head. So I am feeling a difference in the wind breaking situation. Which is brilliant. Hopefully it'll grow up fast this summer and we'll have a over well over our heads wind break for for uh, winter coming in again. And we can I mean here you can see it's growing flush up against my shelter, these sprouts. So if I just train these into the side of my shelter, you know what I mean? It's it's gonna grow right over the top of it. And that's what we want so that when all these leaves come off again come come autumn they give my village a nice layer of leafage i mean there's got to be like 100 million leaves on that tree one tree alone that was a big bang there someone's busy but yeah it's uh i'm chuffed that it's grown up just everywhere there's hundreds of little look at that that's my ash pile from my fire and all this tree's just growing right through it. Look at that. Awesome. That's what you want. A bit of... Bit of potash. <laughs> i tell you one thing, but the ground's treacherous to walk on. Just because if you think about it, there's an entire woodland fell. And then this new woodland's just grown basically on top of it and replanted on top of it. But, uh I think it's going to be brilliant come summer. You know, once all these leaves stretch their uh, stretch their arms and all that, and I mean, even over there, at the top of the lean to, see the amount of bush that's grown. So this visit is going to be just pretty much a one nighter. Going tomorrow morning, just uh, came to scope out what the needs are. And uh, I'm wanting another shelter in here. And then it's going to leave us a narrow walkway in here, which I'll gate. And then once that's done, I can just pretty much concentrate on what I've got here. And then uh, Gary said that I could establish another one somewhere else further, like back over in that corner somewhere. I see a high plinth over there, probably be ideal for it. But uh, yeah, that's probably another time. But I'm just scoping up to finish this one first. Again. <laughs> it's, it's like my fifth village. No, sixth. Sixth village. Doing some building on this land. There you go. There's uh, another good point about having a, a village made out of birch trees. Ah, dry tinder for your fire. <laughs> I bet there's even more inside. Oh yes, look at that back wall. <laughs> oh my god, there's some there. <laughs> oh, I feel how dry and crispy that is. <laughs> it's 
say I'll just take a little bit. <laughs> I just took a little. I don't want to strip down all my shelters of the good birch bark. Although while I'm here, I might actually top up my fire kit because I have none. Put the stove on over here for a brew. Next to another little sapling of birch there. Just gonna leave it to grow and let it grow right up here. And again, it's that's a good thing about having the shelters established once it's been cut down and it's regrown. I'm going to use all these to weave into my walls and strengthen everything. I'm just sitting here thinking, waiting on my water to boil. And uh, yeah, it's like almost two and a half years I've had shelters standing on this spot now whether it be one village, another village, or a different sort of village. And uh, the most I've had on this land is two villages at once. And uh, yeah, the videos are up of the, the earlier ones. And yeah, I get asked a lot about private land and permission, and uh, this is owned by Gary and his friend. So yeah, that's how I got my permission which is brilliant because I've got the permission to build pretty much whatever I want. I mean, the highest TP we've had is like 28 feet and the longest lean-to we've had is 31 feet. So it's, we've had some extreme shelters here like. But since I cut it down, we've not had the amount of moss to go bombastic like we used to. But hopefully, you know, in a year or two, maybe, maybe. Coffee is a go. I hate gas stoves, they always go on as like, <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to blow up and set my shelter on fire. This is the way I keep it well away from where I'm sleeping. <laughs> right, right, random thought, right? Uh, online, like it's been ongoing a long time and I've seen a shelter and it's made out of grass and I've seen, uh, loads of people go to it and I think it's in some sort of survival school but yeah I'm like wondering what the grass is or the 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 the, the pond weed or whatever the hell it's called but on a complete different thing we've got some of that here <laughs> and uh, yeah now my head's thinking thatching 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 I don't know if that's how you pronounce it thatching you know that stuff where you pile all the grass together and weave it and that Thatching, <laughs> thatching. I want to be a thatcher now. That's what it is. But yeah, this uh, <laughs> this could actually work because it's something I've got billions of everywhere. And it's like this stuff here. It's this like it's it, it's it's like some sort of uh, I've seen it growing in the lake district. It's quite strong, but it's just like a. Imagine like big bundles of that rounded off and tied together and then hundreds of them. That's how they did that shelter, I'm sure of it. Right, this idea has just, it sparked something in my head and I can't let it go now. So I've been out in the reeds <laughs> in the swampy area testing uh, a theory I had. And uh, I, think, I think it'll work. So what I've done is I've basically just got a bundle of reeds cut them off I did half the pile with the thin ends at that side and then half the pile with the thin ends at that side so they're equal all the way along and then basically this here is my first ever bum bundle for my uh, dream imaginary shawl that probably will never work but you know imagination's uh, three parts of it <laughs> so I'm gonna Looking for, um, since this shelter here is so perfectly awesome, I'm going to use this as my drying area. And that is the first one. It'd probably take about 5,000, <laughs> 5,000 of them. So this, this shelter is going to be stacked to the roof with the, oh man, it's going to take years. But I've seen a picture now online, and yeah, I've got something to build towards now, so. But 
hopefully uh, I'll be able to put my own twist to it and we'll see. So that's the first bit dried. I'm going to maybe do another two more and then get my fire lit I think. So I'm just putting two ties in each end, just a nice simple double knot, nothing extravagant with me. I only say that because I'm not very good. I only know like I tie my hammock up with like a, a double bow, you know what I mean? That's how hardcore I am. <laughs> That's another bundle. can take a long time but if you think about it every single one that I tie is one less that I need but then we don't really know how many we're gonna need <laughs> so it's not like we've got a definitively you know endless goal of like right we've got this many to do because that might not do it another one. It's gonna look really really cool though. I have like visions of what I want it to look like. I might actually do a little bit of the framework while I'm here just because I'm like that. I say one thing and you know I wasn't gonna build anything but When you get that ID, you just can't help yourself, can you? It's getting hard to see my pad of God. All the grass everywhere. I don't even know if this is grass, you know. I think it's like swamp weed or... It's somewhat like that. It's not like grass grass that grows on your lawn. I'll have to Google a lot when I get home tomorrow and see. Each little bit of paracord that I put on too could be like a bracelet to actually hook it onto the framework you know I think I might put railings across it and see how that works first because I've never built anything like this so it could be a work in progress over a period of time so that's another four done oh I've got another one there behind us no string kind of glad I brought that Roll a paracord with us now. Oh, I've cut that too short. Not bad. Not bad. I'm forgetting to loop it round, you know, so it doesn't come untightened itself. There we go, five. So that's six I've got all together. Coffee break. I'm just sitting thinking about that shelter now. I have uh, something here. So what I did is I walked well away from the village and took, there's like dozens of little saplings grown from one area. So I took one out of a bundle of like 15 and I've trimmed it down and I've put left the two top bits on here in the hope that 
if I do loads like that, it'll, they'll all bend over and tie into place with a nice angled roof if I can keep it like that. You know, like a wigwam sort of thing. And I'll just build the frame onto that. There's hundreds of those, you know, going round. Because it's something I've got plenty of that need thinned down area like. Might be a mission to find ones long enough, but if uh, if not, we'll change our game plan and make something else. But we need the frame, and then obviously the reeds in here. They're going to be the the main padding for the wall to go on the frame. <laughs> obviously, it'll be like on the as I'm setting them on the wall, so you'll have like one uh, one flush up against it. And then one on the gap like that, so that any rain hits them and it'll run down. That's uh, what the theory. So like that, and that there, and then that there. That's a little bit skinny. That could be like a cross beam or something. So like that, 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 and then that. So like there, and then there. And then there'll be another one there. And then it'll be all packed in tight. And that's the theory. You know, the more and more I build this frame, the more and more I realise two things. How cool this is going to look. And it's actually really hard to weave stuff. Like, this young stuff here is just, it's... I mean, it's easy to think, but you've got to bend it and weave it in, and then you get bits like this that pop up, and so you've got to weave them down. I'm going to tie some before long because they really irritate me. <laughs> but yeah, I've got them like sort of the main beam up. It seems to be bending into place. <laughs> I tell you one thing, it's going to be the nicest uh, smooth finished roof that I've ever had with all that weaving on there. I'm still. Only on six bundles of reeds drying. <laughs> There's millions more to collect. You can see it. It's all through there. But I just thought I'd play with the frame. And when I get the frame to perfection first, the way I want it, I'm going to start weaving around now. Other bits. Not bad, though. For like two hours work. So I've been working so hard on this. I've got the door frame up to hold all the... It's angled towards me. So there's going to be like a tunnel, you can see like the angle on it. There. So it's angled and still quite high to get in. So many weave bits in there now. Saw on the floor, axe on the floor, knife on the floor. But it's alright, I'm I'm like working over there so I know it's... Uh, I know it's safe. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to hide on the tripod and put some of these grasses on the door frame to see what it looks like. <laughs> this is going to look epic. It's going to take an excessive amount of reeds, this is like. It's going to look awesome, but once it's on, I'll copy and show you. that I only need like another three four five and then the doors do, the do, above the doors done <laughs> so yeah it's a start I like these reeds I'm, I, I might bring a scythe with us next time or something to get them other than my axe as normal my stuff sprawled everywhere <laughs> I'm, uh, I'd like to get the doorway in there, front bit up here, 
done with reeds by the time I go, like, it'd be nice. I've got the doorway reeded out on each side now. It's gonna take years. <laughs> years. It took, like, three hours in the total to do the frame. But years to get all the reeds together for it. At least they just dry in the shallower, I suppose. <laughs> it's looking mental. Look at that, how awesome. I've changed my weave, I'm putting it that way to start with so that this has got something to ledge onto then I'm tying each one on and then kind of scattering them to fill in the gaps between them that's going to be the first layer and then there's going to be obviously another layer and then probably another layer when the reeds get bigger <laughs> It looks alright, I mean there's, there's not a lot of gaps in it as you can see at the seams. I think that'll pack down once there's loads and loads on there. Yeah, top of the door's done and I've started the actual thing now. <laughs> it's awesome. It's the most reads I've seen in my life. Yeah, I may have stumbled and crushed my door. <laughs> so I just took it down, it's all here. <laughs> yeah, I stumbled over that log there and crushed it. <laughs> it's fine, I'm just going to concentrate on the shelter and once that's done I'll uh, weed the thing. But yeah, I've got all the pier done. Started to do down the sides. Yeah, I'm just plowing along slowly. Got the fire lit just. Pack of fire lighters, done the job instantly. Axe on the floor, my bad. <laughs> God, I've been having a muffin too. Well, I've had two muffins. Just my little coffee stand over there. Just like some doing this, eh? I'm going to be collecting reeds for months, although I have found some reeds that are actually really long. And they're in this part here, see, from there to there, so they're quite long. It's a good bundle. A few more bundles like that, and I won't even be halfway there. <laughs> As I said, just keep at it. It'll look better once there's a lot more on it, I think. Tell you one thing, though, the more and more reeds that get on it, the better it looks, eh? Huh? I've got this entire bit done now. Just on the first layer of reeds, anyways, I'm going to put the base layer on, then I'm going to put huge big bundles on, on top of that. But I'm just like weaving. Like all these little bits here. See as I'm putting the, the reeds on, I'm weaving loads of little bits in between it. Just the bits that I cut off these other bits pretty much. You know, using the whole thing. Saves worse than any. And yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. waiting for my fire to burn down to a bit more of an ash. I'm going to get some salmon right on there and tin foil. Get a bit of a lunch on the go because I'm starving. So hot ash coals there. Not special. Yeah. Good old salmon flavour. collect some more reeds <laughs> I hate collecting reeds almost as much as I hate collecting moss <laughs> a lot more on the sides now and up here I love it it's quite calming doing this sort of work too
<laughs> Starting to get the very top bits on now. Looks really weird. I put them on and spread the bottom width so that it's like another light. So you look up, it's like you know, a bit so it can drip off onto other bits. And they just do all the way that way, all the way around the roof, and then I'll, I need to cap it with some <laughs> I assume. Sweet as this, loving this shelter. Like, I can't even see through it. Brilliant. And that's the salmon done. Oh, nice. Got my salad. Over there. <clears throat> Voila. <laughs> nice light salmon salad. That's the fire built up again. I'm getting more reeds. Do some more work on this side, I think. I'd like to get at least half of it done before I go, like. Pretty much halfway done. Got all the four on the top now, see. And you've got this side. <laughs> it's like a wall of reeds. Looks pretty awesome though. Well, the sun's getting ready to go down very soon. I'm just chilling. I've just been thinking and having a little lesson from Wild Ginger Bruce on reeds. So yeah, dude, big thanks for that. A lot of help. Uh, I'm liking the way this is turning out. And if this turns out really well, I might change that lean to make it a little bit higher and read the entire back of that pretty much like I've done this I think that'll look pretty cool but that's again a future thing and also the roofs of these cabins could be done in the reeds too because I mean there is so much abundance out there of it getting right round the edge now Get the front of it. I am really happy how this is looking. Not bad for my first attempt reading, but I'm very happy with it. Thick team. Can't wait till it's finished. It's not going to be tonight, but it's going to have to be another time now. I'm getting tired and my ankles are throbbing. My ankle is throbbing. But I've got enough of it done to see if there'll be a dry space in it when we get back next time. So I've got the lamb shanks in there for tea. Two in there, some potatoes on there too. Lamb shanks have been on for a little bit, you can hear them sizzling. Got my little lamp lit in the back of my shelter too. So, the veg is boiling, the potatoes are almost done. Lamb shanks have been on for ages and they're done. They smell absolutely amazing too. I've checked them and had a little uh, put my finger in the sauce and oh, it tastes divine. Got lots of mint in it. And there we have it. The lamb shanks just falling off the bone. Strawberry jam donuts that aren't actually donutty. 
as in round the straight ones. Mm. Fire's getting pretty puny now. Might go and get some more wood before bed. Yeah. Happy with work. I'm going to get some shut eye and we'll catch you all in a couple of hours. Quite windy out and the sun's starting to come up in the distance over there. Fire's very low, just not long up. It's like 4 30 in the morning, 4 35, something like that. Almost five, sorry, almost five. Morning fire's on and I have a latte. <laughs> it's quite windy actually. Well, first inspection of the reed shelter this morning. It's uh, pretty much half done. Did a little bit more last night, but not much. Yeah, just chilling by my fire. Setting up, packing up soon for my lift. Sign my footwear. <laughs> They're actually really warm, them things, with a fire in front of them. Open. Yep, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the grass shelter as much as I did. Can't wait to get it finished. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>